begin, though, with a significant step in fixing the veterinarian shortage across the country. The very first public vet school in our state just opened its doors today. The facility right here in Pima County. Nine on your side's Rogelio Mares joins us now. And Rogelio, you're giving us an inside look at this new campus? Valerie and Pat, we are. Descriptions that come to mind are state of the art and cutting edge, which are accurate, but one description that is very apparent is distant. The school is located miles from the main U of A campus. It, uh, students who plan to attend the vet school next fall will have to drive all the way to Oro Valley. <laughs> This moment has been a long time coming for the University of Arizona. The earliest uh, evidence that we have of the University of Arizona wanting a College of Veterinary Medicine is 50 years ago. This new veterinary program at the U of A took five years to develop. Colleges of Veterinary Medicine are accredited by the American Veterinary Medical Association's Council on Education, and we are required, I know that's a lot of words. It's Julie Funk's job to keep this new vet program qualified. She's the college's new dean, coming from the veterinary school at Michigan State University. Right now there's about three open positions for every new graduate, so we need more veterinarians to meet the needs of society. This college is the first and only public veterinarian school in Arizona. The only other program is at Midwestern University, a private school in Glendale. The school's location begs the question, why Oro Valley? The building in, in Oro Valley fit perfectly into what we're doing to make this a College of Veter Veterinary Medicine like no other. Unlike most courses taken at U of A's main campus, the university says these courses won't be a typical lecture in an auditorium. They're using the space in Oro Valley to give students room to learn in a clinical setting. For future students, the goal is to keep their classes here on specific days. One thing that we are uh, working to avoid is students that have to travel from one location to another within a single day. It is a long distance. The university says it plans to begin admitting students into its program starting next fall. And U of A administrators tell me the program is expected to be competitive with only 110 students admitted in that first ever class. Guys.